Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. And we're going to learn in this one how to pass data to a blade component. So I got a home controller with an invocable method that returns a view by just home.index, this one right here. And we pass the posts variable to this view and we paginate six, but I seeded the database with five. All right, so we're going to do an add for each loop in here and we're going to do post as post right i already created a class based component and app view post.index okay so i got this class based component as well so in order to render that component we use the x notation okay and post is the folder dot index which is the class right so in order to pass this variable to this component, okay, so this class based component right here, we use a colon like this. Now, this is the name of the variable that we're going to expect to be in here. So you can name it anything you want, but I would rather suggest be consistent. If you pass a post, name it a post. If it's a thread, a thread, article, an article. All right, so we can e equal that to the name. And then we pass in the variable like this. So in this case, it's the post, and we pass the post like this. Don't include the post like this, all right? It's going to give you an error. Just pass it like that, all right? So in order to receive this in your class right here, you use a public function, public property, and we call it post. So if you name this something else, I'm just using an example. I don't recommend this. So you name this SDS in your class. Just expect this to be SDS like this. Okay. All right. But I would say stay consistent. So if you name it, if this the variable name is post, just name it post like that. Okay. Just want to mention that. All right. So in order to make use of this component inside the view, of this class, we need to pass it in a constructor. Okay, and let's just say this post equals post, like that. All right, now any public variable, okay, so any of these properties right here will be automatically available inside the view. All right, so if we pass it here, we receive it in our class, so that public property will be automatically available in our view so in the view we can do an h2 and i'm just going to do the post title like this all right i'm calling on a method that i created inside our post models let me just show you so i've got a method of title body and type and i'll return the property okay so if anyone asks why call on the method I just wanted to explain. Right, I'm just going to add a couple of styling. Right, so I've got my title, I've got my body, and I've got some padding on the div, space Y, just to kind of separate the two with the background and a shadow, font bold for the title and a text SM. Right, so let's see if we can actually view this post. Right, so as you can see, we received the post variable. We pass it to the class based component, and it's being rendered right here. Okay. Now, the thing is, if you change that to a protected, it will not be displayed right here. All right, so let's quickly change this to protected or private. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to show an example for the protected. This variable will not be available in the front end. Let's quickly see. All right, so as you can see, undefined variable right here. Okay. All right, there's another thing that we can do as well. So we can create public methods inside our class based component so let me just quickly create a public function i'm going to call this one excerpt like this and i want to pass in the post and the limit let's set the limit to just five for now like that okay and then we're just going to return a string limit Passing the post and the limit. Right. So this is now a public method. Right. So any public 
properties or public methods will automatically be available inside the view. So let's go to the view right here. Now I just want to use an excerpt over the post body. Now the thing is you might think you can add an excerpt like this because it's a method. You cannot do that. It will not recognize it. In order to process a, a public method, you need to use it treated as a variable like that. So let's see if we can actually all right, so as you can see, we have an excerpt right there. But as you can see, I only reduce it to small characters, amount of uh, characters, so that we can easily see it right here. All right, I increase it to 50. As you can see, it updates accordingly. All right, so now this, you can do exactly the same way as you would handle it inside anonymous component. So now we have a class-based component. But the thing is, with anonymous component, we can obviously not create any methods. And just for those that might be new, anonymous components are components that doesn't have a class. Now, I've created an anonymous component called post, this one right here. It doesn't have a class. But I'm going to copy everything inside here. Copy that and paste it in here. Okay. Now let's go to the 100 index and instead of the class based component, I'm just going to change to the anonymous component. And we're going to automatically get an error because we cannot create any methods inside anonymous component because they don't, cannot, you cannot create a class. Okay. All right. So as you can see, we can still render the same information except we cannot use the methods in because we reason why you would use anonymous components because you don't want to make use of classes all right so if you want to make use of classes you can obviously deal with it like that all right i want to just change this back to a class-based component let's just update this one all right so it will return the correct now the next thing that you can do if you have any hard-coded information that you want to pass to the component as well I'm going to use just a simple example. I'm just going to do a type and I'm going to set that to blue. Okay. Now I just want to pass that kind of information to that component. All right. So let's say you have want to use this component in multiple places, but in certain places you want to show it blue, other places orange or whatever the case may be. I want to do that. I know it might not be what you normally would do, but I just wanted to show you the, that you can do anything. All right, this is just a stupid example, but anyway, let's do that. We're just passing a hard coded value, right? So we're using a type of blue. In order to receive this type, we go to the index and let's quickly create a public property called type. And in our constructor, we add the type right here. All right, so just remember any public property will obviously be available in the view. So let's go to the view and instead of the gray background, I want that to be the top. Okay. Something like that. So now the top will be available. All right. So let's quickly see if it actually turns out to be blue. All right. So as you can see, it changed the color to blue. So you can make it more dynamic. There's multiple purposes of how you can do that. Now, another thing I just want to mention for anyone that use in like Vue, uh, JS, and all the other frameworks. I just want to show you something if you use Blade Components. Or Alpine.js, they also use the colon prefix. So I'm just going to use the example in the documentation. So if we have something like this, where a class in Alpine and you add danger is deleting, you need to use a double just to escape it right there. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this for now. Right, so let's just quickly, I want to show you another thing inside the class right here. If any of the properties that you have in here, you don't want it to be exposed basically to the view, you can use a protected accept like this, and you can equal that to whatever it might be. So let's say we add it must it the type, we don't want that to be available, or we don't want the accept to be available. Let me just copy it on. So we don't want this to be exposed to the front end. So let's just quickly go and check. So as you can see, it gives us an undefined variable type right there. All right. 
So that's the end of this lesson, guys. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave it to me in the comment section. I will respond to them ASAP. Thank you, guys, and like the video, and adios.